نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الكریم اما بعد فعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل الاقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی رب یسر ولا توسر و تمم بالخیر رب زدنی علما آمین یا رب العالمین السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ In Arabic grammar, in previous clauses, we learned the noun and its different kinds. To recognize the noun, to analyze the noun, it has four different ways which yesterday in our previous class we learned that was gender, gens, the number, adad, wusat, capacity, and Arabi halat, the case. From those four of the different analytic approaches, we have selected one of them, the gender, today. And gender of the noun, ismul jins, we have to understand, we have to learn, because this is one category, how to recognize a noun. So, Gender defines here the masculine muzakka is the basic form. Masculine is the basic form, therefore it does not require any rule, any sign, any significance, any marker to know it. This is the base. This is the fundamental stage. We have to collect several nouns, several nouns, and in gender, whether it will be feminine or masculine. Masculine is the base, but there are certain rules, certain signs, certain markers for feminine. So, Again, the definition, it defines for the masculine, a noun in Arabic is masculine, muzakkar, by default. It means without any rule. And has got no any particular sign or rule for making it. We have to memorize, we have to remember. But if we learn feminine, if we learn the rules of feminine, no doubt, the signs of feminine, if we learn, no doubt, there is the significance of mus masculine. Because feminine has almost some of the four or five rules which we have to keep into the mind. If we don't find, if we don't find, this sign in the noun, then it may be the other sign. Sign, if we don't find an other sign, even the third one, fourth one, and the all signs of feminine, and no doubt it would be masculine. It would be, it will be muzakkar al muzakkar. So, in this way, today we have to understand the rules of feminine to recognize to analyze the masculine feminine nouns here muzakkar there's marked form there's no any mark unmarked 
and Mohannes has mug farms. Mohannes has mug farms. So, Mohannes is divided into further two of the categories. One is called Hakiki Mohannes, real Mohannes, natural Mohannes. It is also called animate. Living being, living beings. And another is Ghair Hakiki, Majazi. Even Lovzi is the name. Verbal feminine. It is unreal and inanimate. Non living beings. So, feminine is divided into two of the parts. One is Hakiki, another is Ghair Hakiki, Majazi. Hakiki means animate, living beings, and Ghair Hakiki means inanimate, not living beings. So, later on, we learn which are Hakiki and which are Ghair Hakiki, Majazi, Lavzi. We have to differentiate between the two. So, I'm just coming to the point. Ghair Hakiki is further divided into two of the parts, Kyasi, which has certain determined rules, are the clues, are the markers, alamat, to know, to identify, to recognize it. That is called Mu'annase Kyasi, Mu'annase Kyasi. And one another is Semai. I is the Arabs said. Just Arabs said we have to follow. Arabs said that this is Shamsun. And Shamsun is a Mu'annas one. We accept this. We say it's indeed Mu'annas because they call it. We cannot argue. We cannot say anything about regarding the Shamsu, Ardu, Asa, Narun, Jahannam. There are certain nouns which are called simply hearing it from Arabs. What we have heard, what we have listened, what they call it, we have to only say that one, we have to follow them. We'll repeat the same. We'll give the same name to the noun what Arabs say. We cannot argue. We don't say anything. So it is called Smai. Kiasi has some of the rules. Just round circle ta, round ta is one of the significance, one of the sign symbol to recognize the feminine noun. Now, we say Mirahatun, Saburatun, the Rajatun, this Ta indicates that the word or the noun or the name is feminine. With the help of gol ta, round ta, we recognize and it is called kiasi. So, alif matsura is another sign, our noun to be recognized and put into the category of Mu'annas, feminine, kubra, sugra, husna, just like this. And alif mamduda, assamau, assamau, hamrau, zarakau, all the coloring names almost come in this. Saharau, come in. Kiasi, Muannase Kiasi. So, 
Alif Matsura, Alif Mamduda, these are the signs, symbols to analyze, to recognize the feminine noun, to keep the noun into mind as a gens, as a gender, feminine gender into the mind with the help of these signs. And as Simai, I said, I narrated that Arabs, whatever Arabs said, we have to follow them. Whatever Arabs give the name to any noun, we have to call the same. We cannot make or put forth our own names through our own names. So these, these are the categories of gender. Furthermore, <clears throat> some of the nouns, some of the nouns here as Khalifatun, Alamatun, Khuzefatun, Khuzefa, Usama, Talha, even there is, you'll find round ta, but this is the exception, and there are exceptions in all languages, in every language, even in English language, there are exceptions. These are the exceptions. Though we find round ta here, even these are the Masculine, male names, not female names. These are male names. So, in, as I said, we are coming to these points. Hakiki, natural, real, or animate, which has a pair. Just we say, natural, biological pair, natural pair. We say, umun. We have this knowledge, we know. If there is umun, then abun. Mother, father. We say ukhatun, akhun, brother, sister, brother. Just like if we say there is the noun. Shatun. Shatun is called goat. Goat. And you know, he goat, she goat. Moanas, Muzakka, just like, like, Bakaratun, Jamusun, Bakaratun cow, there's cow, there's bull, Jamusun, buffalo. And like this, this is the clue, this is the sign, this is the, when we have the idea that this noun has the pair, counterpart, this noun has a counterpart, this noun has a gender, different, two of the genders, whether male or female, whether masculine or feminine, if we have this idea, then that is called hakiki, natural, real, animate. And this is inanimate. And I defined ghair hakiki, majazi, lavzi, unreal, inanimate things, inanimate female nouns. So furthermore, there are some other rules to Clarify these and others. Let me write those. So, for the examples of gender, as I narrated, that round ta at the end of the noun, shajaratun, nirvahatun, ghurfatun. Mistaratun, like this, and Alif Maksura, 
at the end of the noun as Atsha, Hosna, Kubra, Sogra, and in Alif Manduda at the end of the noun just Sahiraun, Sahiraun, Hamraun, Baidaun, and body parts which are two in number just Yadun. Ainun, Kadamun, Rijlun, Uznun, Khatun, Shafatun, Lips, Khatun, Cheeks, Uznun, Ears, Rijlun, Yadun, Hands, Ainun, Eyes, and Kadamun, Food just like this, Names of the countries, towns, tribes, etc. Al Shamu, Al Iraku, Al Misiru, Al Iranu, Al Pakistanu, Al Karatashi, Al Larkana, Makatun, Madinatun, Kariatun, Kuraishun, Kuraishun, these are the names of tribes, towns, countries. All these are the feminine nouns come in the category of feminine. On the contrary, on the contrary, there is masculine. Suppose parts of body or body parts which are the two in number. Yadun, Yadani, Ainani, Kadamani, two, two. But if we talk, if we see that we have one part, are more than two, then that is masculine. That will be count in masculine, not in feminine. Ra'asun, batnun, famun, wajhun, just like this. Sirrun, sirrun, sinnun. Sharun, Sinun, Teeth, Sharun, here, here. So, in this connection, one or more than two are called masculine. Otherwise, if the two in body part are called feminine. So, Yadun is a feminine, Ainun is a feminine, and the names of country, town, tribes are, are also considered feminine. Alif Mamduda, Alif Matsura, the names comes almost to count in feminine. But there is exceptions as well as there is Isa. The noun is Isa, Musa. These are the exceptions. Musa is a masculine one. Isa is a male one, not feminine, not female. So, in every language, as I narrated, there are certain exceptions. So, here are also exceptions. We have to keep this thing into the mind that exceptions exist everywhere. However, these rules will hint us, will give us something uh, knowledge to recognize to analyze a noun through gender through gender jins al jinsu and besides this there are number there are arabi halat this is the analytical approaches in the categories and also there's wusat definite indefinite through this we can recognize and later on in other classes we learn inshallah others today we end our class here thank you very much